taxes and spending cuts. The Obama administration would phase out tax cuts enacted during the Bush administration for people who make more than $250,000 a year. And the new plan would shrink payments to Medicare by $316 billion. That's the system that funds health care to the elderly and disabled. Miller Tabak analyst Les Funtleiter wrote the book Healthcare Investing. He says without reform, the economy suffers. America is at a disadvantage to other places in the world who have single-payer systems. This does put a burden on our companies. I mean, even China has said they wanted to do a universal health care program. Some Republicans complained today that the president's proposal is too expensive. They don't want to see breadwinners taxed more during a recession. But Len Nichols with the nonpartisan New America Foundation says lawmakers may be closer to compromise than they let on. I know there is far more bipartisan conversation going on, at least on the Senate side, than uh, is perhaps uh, evident in public. That behind-the-scenes wrangling will probably continue for a few more weeks. More details about the plan are expected to emerge in April. I'm Janet Babin for Marketplace. One more budget note before we move on. A nod back to the president's speech to Congress Tuesday night. That part where he said he's going to cut the deficit in half by the end of his first term. Take his figure today of $1.75 trillion in budget deficit this year. Cut that in half, and it's still a really big number. There's probably going to be a deal between Citigroup and the government any day now. If the guesses are right, it's going to involve increasing taxpayer stake in the bank to around 40%. Whether that's nationalization or not is a topic for another day. The question